Greetings and welcome to another video from oduclass.com. In this video we're going to look at the point of sale system and exactly how to set up the hardware and all of the connections and configurations required to uh, put together a complete point of sale system. This is going to include the printing of the receipt, uh, the barcode scanning, and the handling of the, of the cash drawer. So um, I, I am going to install with demo data so that we have uh, some data to work with when we test out this system. Um, you'll start, of course, by just going here and uh, installing the point of sale uh, system here. Start point of sale. And here we'll take the default accounting um, options and um, really whatever fits for your currency w will be fine I'll use uh, US and um, you can put your sales tax here and purchase tax here just like any other setup okay so now on this side of things to set up a point of sale configuration for the hardware you're done here to point of sales configuration and uh, there will already be a main one set up now we're going to be using the um, POS box and the POS box uh, handles a lot of the complexities of configuring a point of sale system for you but um, one of the things you have to do here is go down here and you're going to want to do the print via proxy you're going to want to do scan via proxy and with us since we have a cash drawer to automatically open it we're going to do the cash drawer via proxy as well now if you had an electronic scale it'll also hook in here as well and um, that's all the configuration you have to do on this side you just hit save and um, on this system I was doing this just with a, a desktop PC because it's easier to click around and move around but now um, for the actual point of sale part um, we're gonna look at the actual hardware and how this would look uh, as if you were using it on a point of sale system now um, one thing I just considered is that the products that are in there right now um, I probably don't have stocked in my shelf so I'm gonna pick just a couple of products that I have here that I can put barcodes in so that we can test out the barcode scanning and I can show you how to convert the EANs um, properly from uh, like if you have a, a UPC barcode so let's just add a product here so we'll have something to actually scan in so I'm gonna create a product and this particular product happens to be a Slim Right Strawberry Cream Shake. So we'll go Slim Right Strawberry Cream. And they've got this nice feature down here now under uh, Set a Custom EAN. Now, if you're from the US and you probably are using uh, like the, the, the standard UPC barcodes or UPCA. All you have to do is put a zero in front of the normal 12-digit um, number. So I'll have a zero here, and then zero, and this one happens to be four one two six zero three five eight six zero nine. And when you hit apply, it'll do the necessary conversion to to bring it into here just to make sure it's valid. I um, mean, I think you could just in this case it typed it in there anyway. I'm going to go ahead and set this to probably a little closer to what these things actually cost, maybe. And we'll do one more just so we have another one to check out. And this one is just going to be a can of ginger ale. And uh, so we'll call this, this is a big K ginger ale. And this time I'm going to try to just type it in without doing the conversion part. Last time I seemed to have trouble doing it this way. And I might have put in too many ones. Or not enough. And there you go. So 
you just add an extra zero um, if you're not using an EAN barcode and you're using a UPC. Um, let's just edit that price to probably be actually for a single can of this stuff it's probably even cheaper than a dollar so we'll say it's 79 cents and we'll save and now we're ready to go and set up the hardware and um, see how we would actually uh, use these products in a real point-of-sale system environment all right so now um, we're gonna be using a camera here and so the, the voice might change or the audio might change a little but hopefully this is clear so we're gonna be using this POS box it's just a little black box you get um, from Odoo and um, basically it makes it real easy to hook up these point-of-sale systems um, it comes with a manual here and I'm, I'm not gonna read through that it's real simple to set up you've got ports here to hook in your scanner and to hook in uh, your receipt printer and then here is where you're going to hook in to um, your network so you have an ethernet port right here on this side is where we plug in the power adapter so here's the power adapter it comes with it and it's it's um, international friendly you just have to pick the adapter type they send you a bunch of different ones and you just slide your adapter type on there like that and then you're gonna plug it in right here just like that now you're gonna go and grab the scanner and uh, you're gonna want a USB scanner so just standard USB cable and this is just an inexpensive uh, Honeywell scanner here. And so this is just going to go in one of the USB ports. Just pick one. Plug it in. And I have my Ethernet cable that you're going to have as well uh, to hook it into your network. Now there's Wi-Fi built into this, but in order to power it and to hook it up to your network, it is an Ethernet connection. The Wi-Fi is uh, for your um, your tablet, like the iPad that we'll show you how it hooks up to later. Now the final piece that's missing here is the receipt printer. And so you should have a USB cable. It'll go to your receipt printer. And then you would plug this in as well to one of these USB ports. Uh, so just like that. So this is all the connections. Now the way the cash store hooks in is there's a place on the receipt printer right here in the back and it depends on your receipt printer but um, the way these point of sale systems are configured is the cash door actually hooks up to your receipt printer so now with all the hardware set up once you've got all these things hooked together you should be able to plug in your point of sale or POS box adapter and it will automatically when it configures print out a um, IP address receipt so we're going to plug this in and it'll take it a few seconds to power up it uses a raspberry pi inside of it and so there's a little little system that's starting up inside here and um, it'll be ready when the receipt printer uh, maybe it's just the first time actually but we'll give it a few more seconds and see if it just prints the receipt but the first time for sure it should um, print out a little receipt um, that'll have the IP address on it um, which you shouldn't need because as we showed you in the setup uh, it automatically finds the receipt printer so let's go ahead and try to use this um, this setup so you're just gonna bring up Odoo on your on your uh, tablet that you're going to use for your point of sale system. I'm going to start a new session. Okay, and we did have to wait a little while. That did not start because I started the session. This was the receipt we were waiting for. That every time you plug in that POS box, you're going to get a receipt that has the IP address on it, and then you'll know the POS box is ready. And so now I'm just going to pick a couple of things here off of this 
Um, I can go now to uh, cash out and um, plug in how much we get. So I'll, I'll go ahead and just say 159, just like that, and return. And you'll notice that the cash drawer up uh, kicks out. And um, there's our receipt. Just like that. So it really is that simple, and it even has the change on there and everything. So um, let me close the cash drawer. Now let's see how the barcode scanner works. It's just as simple. Um, I have my can of ginger ale around here. Um, so I'll just bring that up. And you saw how we typed that in. Here's our barcode. Scan it. And now you'll see right there. We have one can of ginger ale in our in our cart. And I can now do it with this one as well. I'll try to scan it and so you can see it pop in as I scan it this time. And there it is. You can just go here and say cash. Put in the money we get. Just hit return. Cash store pops out. And there's our receipt right out of the receipt printer. Let's do one more um, watching the receipt printer just so you can see it a little bit more of the whole thing. So you pick your topic, add up the items, and cash out. Say it's five bucks. Return. You have a working point of sale system. 10 minutes set up if you know how to do it. That ends the hardware side of this, and so I think we're good.